comments, anything, feel free. Don Adele's here to take any questions anybody has. We should monitor him well. Thank you. Thank y'all. 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 Thank
How about the property north of uh, Highway 7? What can you say about the prospect of those uh, for the outlook for the gas under those areas? The indicators are there's no recoverable gas remaining to the lane north of 7. Uh, a, a, except down on the Dugan Fault. Right, where you still have some. But, but, but in the neighborhood. Okay. Get the won't say anything. I don't have anything to add to it now. If y'all have any questions, I'll be here. Let me just ask this. I mean, as far as plugging and abandoning somebody's OR and W is away from the community. Now, before they plug them and abandon them, I mean, they got to make sure they've checked them over a long period of time to see if gas isn't reappearing there, right? Because once it's plugged and abandoned, gas starts coming back, and we won't know about it. Anymore. Yeah, we need to see the plan they would have for what was gotcha. the ones that are plugged. But there are we see a, a well plugged and abandoned prematurely, you know, and then gas it, It's going to be a while before they plug and abandon and we, we discussed that at the last meeting, is that, you know, there will be a, a remaining network of pressure monitor wells, probably some ORW wells acting as pressure monitor wells. So that'll be absolutely, you know, vetted by everybody before. I, I didn't mean to suggest that we were going to start plugging ORWs next week. Yeah. We're starting the planning, and we're looking at those. In fact, we've already plugged some. We're looking at those that are in areas that are pretty much designated as, as depleted, and, and those will be the first ones on the list. It is DNR in essential agreement with what Mark has just said on behalf of Mrs. Brown? Which statement? All of the above. We would not necessarily be in essential agreement with all of the above. Well, then you need to tell us what you're not in agreement on. On the gas depletion, that's part of what the P and why the order calls for the PMW to monitor and determine whether that's okay. where that stands. We're not saying it's wrong. We're just saying we don't see the proof that says it is definitely so. Um, the stability, it does, I don't think anybody's arguing that as far as the sinkhole and the seismic we've seen, or the near term, it seems to have calmed down. But we're waiting on the BRC stability group to give us information. Say this is how you test that for the long term. And for, like I say, for the, for the wells before we, before we sign off on, they'll say, okay, to plug and abandon this one or say we agree that this one's depleted, that would probably, that wouldn't have to be vetted by our folks to say, does the evidence support that or is there an alternative explanation that needs to be explored on operation of the well? And as Mark mentioned, you know, he's optimistic, and it's our job to be, uh, you know, the, the naysayers and to prove it, and, and uh, I think we're working together, uh, obviously, to make sure that happens. That we all have our, our roles, and we're, we're going to, you know, make sure that it's, it's gone the way you, you, everybody wants it to go. I, I think it's uh, as a uh, resident, and uh, some people, most people, and if you don't know, I am a member of the Blue Ribbon Committee, but I don't speak for the Blue Ribbon Committee here. I'm speaking for myself. And I, but I certainly think it is a, it is encouraging that Texas Brine and DNR have reached. Um, I will avoid using the word agreement. They see, you seem to have reached some kind of understanding about pressure monitoring. Is that a fair statement? Yes, it is. And I think that is a, uh, as a resident, I think that's a good development. Mm -hmm. I, I'll just add a couple more things in response to what Patrick said. I didn't mean to suggest that, that it's universally agreed, uh, but there have been observations, remarks uh, by some of your experts that acknowledge that we have depleted gas in certain areas. And I, 
think the uh, final phase of uh, number one was very telling uh, because most of us expected that if there was recharge occurring, it would most certainly be coming up with the damaged rock zone below the sinkhole. And a relief well that close would probably be uh, one of the perpetual uh, producers. So that was you know, a good sign. Um, should note that about 80, maybe 85 percent of the gas that we're producing right now is coming from right under our feet, this area right here. And as you all know, after we did the CPP program, we identified this as the, the main location. So, uh, like I said, it, it's, uh, it's still troubling, but I, I'm optimistic, and I believe that given enough time, we're going to see the same thing with these wells that we saw with the other Eventually, uh, that eventually it's going to get there. Yeah, we might be, we might not be as sold on the, a shorter time frame as they might be always. But it's not like we're saying it can't be done. No, the reason we're here is to get the gas out from under here as much as as much as it can be done. But as from as a regulator, we can't just we need to see the plans, go through the plans for how it's to be done, and understand that it's safe and everything's been done to make sure it's effective. And we've had surprises out here before. That's that's when we want to guard against being too quick to say to, to say you know, this part or that part's all done and all good. We've seen the situation change. We want to make sure that's why we that's why the BRC was put together to begin with to get the best science on it we could. There's that. There's data to be collected. To, there's data to be collected to show progress. Unfortunately, uh, the only only information you have is well operation. They 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 have indicated they're going to start CPTing again and so forth. And once that data is collected and, and compared, then you can actually make those statements. But right now, you don't have that information. Uh, they they are providing plans by next week and. Uh, and there's going to be a vetting process, and a, Mark, I, I don't know if you have a better timeline, but uh, it, they indicated a couple of months, but yeah, maybe. We, we expect to be starting the uh, first water well process uh, by May 5th, and our expectation is to have it installed by the end of May. So you're saying they need to get these new wells installed and data collected before you can actually say if there really has been any significant progress from 18 months ago to now? As far as depletion of gas, that's the that's the thing is we don't know whether an area that had gas before and doesn't now is depleted because the gas there's this finite amount of gas and it's all gone and just in a shrinking area or the pathway just changed because the subsurface over here has been changing markedly over the past 18 months. That's what the pressure monitoring wells and things like that are supposed to do is to say, do we see a difference? over space because of 